Hi guys, so I am back with another video. And I think this is my fourth upload, or not fourth upload, but fourth video of today. Um, here I have So here I have the plate that we will be reviewing. It just has a whole bunch of ocean themes, kind of sea creatures on it. If you just want to take a moment and look. Sorry for the glare. But I will be removing the blue film in just a minute. So that is that side and then if you turn it over, this is why I love the Juba's plates because the Juba's plates, as you can see there, are double sided. So you kind of get like a two for one deal. Absolutely amazing plates. Normally I think they come, is it two plates double sided? So it's really like you get four plates for, I don't know, I forget how much I pay for these but I like them because they're really, they're pretty big compared to like um, most other plates, like if I show you, if I show you a CAD's plate, CAD's plates are kind of small, so they're probably like half of those. But like, Something like Bundle Monster, which I have not reviewed these yet. See the size? So, they're pretty big. Um, yeah, but anyway, so moving on. So, let's get the blue film off of here. Why is my camera doing that? My camera is definitely moving on its own. Definitely not moving it. I'm trying to figure out if it's becoming loose in my tripod. No, it is not. So I don't know what's... See that? Why is that happening? I have a feeling... Hold on, guys. Okay. Are we better? Okay, I think we're better. That was so trippy for a second. I'm like, why is my camera moving like that? So as you know, you have to remove the blue film. So I just take a rounded marbling tool. And you can see there and I flip it around and use the bigger end to help me remove the rest. Oops. And so then you can pull the rest of your film off. And there you go. There are your beautiful images. Look how beautiful they are. I honestly think we're going to stick to this side for today. We might end up doing the other side for for another day um, because I don't want this video to, you know, to take too long. I want to go for that octopus right about there so let's get it see if we can pick up this little octopus great I'm gonna roll and I smudged him and that was my fault you see that as much that so we're gonna try that again 
Guys, look at that. Look how good it came out. Wow, what a beautiful transfer. Oh, look at him. There he goes. Cute. I picked up a beautiful little shell. Let's see if I can transfer it. Hello. Focus, please. Thank you. Cute, right? Got to try to get my... Sorry for the camera. Shaking. I gotta try to get my little turtle because turtles are my favorite. I got him. He's a little smudged. We're gonna try that again. I don't think I... I don't think I swiped very good. So, it's okay. Because we're just going to try that one more time. My scrape wasn't that on point, but we're going to try it again. It's a cool thing about stamping. You can just erase and try again. So cool. So, much better. Let's turn him around. Try to get him down on here. And there he is. I'm going to try to get rid of what I don't want. So, See, when you have little bits like that, you just go ahead with your little cotton claw and you just get rid of what you don't want. Or, before you stamp it on here, you get rid of it with your lint roller. Um, whatever you want, you get rid of it with your lint roller from your stamper. But that's that. So that makes room for us to uh, swatch something down below. So... Let's see what we can swatch next. I'm gonna go for this beautiful little seahorse down here. Shout out to all the Pisces. Oh, it came out so great, but then it like smudged. Let's see if I can try to save it, maybe. I saved it as best as possible. It's not perfect, but we'll just stamp what we got. And there he is. See, it's not perfect. He got messed up a little bit there. But that's okay. You guys get the picture. Okay, moving on. I'm going to try to get as much of this coral reef as I can on the nail. Beautiful transfer. Now on here, since it is nail polish and I'm not practicing on gel, I almost transferred it. I don't want to get what I don't want. <laughs> Pretty much you want to get rid of what you don't want on your nail because it will stay on there. And then it'll be really hard to remove with nail polish. You might be able to do it, but it'll be difficult. So there's our coral reef. There we go. Um, so that's why I like practicing on the gel. But I'm going to see if I can do a little design with this coral reef. So let's see. There's a cute little fish on there that I want to... Let's see. Where was the one that I wanted to swatch? I lost him. Oh, there he is. Right there. Look how cute. 
but he did get a little distorted so we're gonna try that again mm, let's see if we can go for this little seahorse up here in the little bubbles let's see Aww. So, <laughs> this is how I do it. This is how I get rid of what I don't want. You literally just get rid of what you don't want, but you gotta be careful because then you can get rid of what you want. So, there you go. And I have the little seahorse in the bubbles, and you gotta be really quick. This is like, I mean, you have to be speedy, speedy fast. A lot of the times I think people uh, say that things don't work, and I, I believe it's timing with a lot of people a lot of people just take too long including myself sometimes I feel like I take too long if that was entirely too long um it did come out but um just sometimes you know I think we take a little bit too long <clears throat> and sometimes I mean I've seen people like this And going like this, and going like this, and going like this. And I mean really pushing down to the point. Do you see my stamper? For like five minutes. Like there's no need to do that, guys. It's a scrape, a light roll to pick up, and a light roll to get it. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all you do. So you really, stamping is not like a really rough thing. You don't want to be like really jamming on your stamper and jamming on your nail it's a really light motion Re everything's really light so if you're thinking that you have to be really rough with stamping i'm not like the greatest stamper but i don't believe that you have to be really really difficult with these things um it's everything is a really light roll really light pick up scrape scraping is probably the toughest that you're gonna you know be and then you're going to roll. And the good thing about squishy stampers, guys, is because you see that. And then if I turn it around this way, sometimes I like to stamp this way. But as you can tell, this stamper is too small for this nail. So actually, if that, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going <clears> to <throat> show you guys the other stamper that I use. But the reason why I don't use it is because sometimes the stamper head pops out on me. So then I started to use this stamper by Born Pretty. I have a much smaller one that's probably half of this one, which that was the one that kept popping out on me. I don't really know how well this one does, but we're going to try it out. And so the whole point was, let me get both of them out. As you guys can see, if you don't really know, again, I'm not a stamping expert, but look at the size of this nail. Look at the size of the smaller stamper head. Look at the size of the bigger stamper head. I have a nail here that is too small for this stamp stamper head. So if you look to the side, what I'm stamping on the nail is not really getting, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble because the nail is so big. Now, if I want a better result and easier for me, because of the size of the nail, I need something like this, where the nail is able to, or the stamper is able to get around the whole entire nail at once. Okay, but you have to be careful because I think <clears throat> if you have these sharp sides here, you got to be careful with damaging your stamper head so just be aware and be careful don't you know push too hard but you have to push firm enough to get that stamp to come off so this is why I like the clear jelly ones because you can kind of you know mold them in there to get the stamp off now I do kind of want to get a I do have like a marshmallow one and it's kind of probably maybe a little bit bigger than this that I have not tried out yet but if I do like that one, I probably want to get one a little bit bigger and then I'll probably be good for a while. Because I do like the bigger stamper heads for bigger nails. Um, but if you have smaller nails in this stamper head right here is fine. But anyways, moving on. Let's get it. Let's move on.
So as you know, we get rid of what we don't want. That fish down here got a little smudge, so we'll just remove him. So then we just keep we'll keep whatever we want. And actually, I don't want the other half of that octopus. We gotta be very, very quickly, or quick, is what I meant to say. That's it. This stamper is awesome. I love it. Got a couple of those little tiny fish. I just wanted a few of them just to put at the very bottom. of the stamp. I think I'm gonna get rid of the top half. And there we have them. The star kind of came out on top of the my, but that's okay. It still came out kind of cute. That would have been cute if you put tentacles all along here. Super cute. There's so many things that you can do with these stamping plates, guys. Like the the possibilities are like endless. This is why I love <clears throat> stamping, and I think I'm falling, you know, more and more in love. With it, the more that I practice, it's not an easy thing to do, but the more and more you practice, the more you get a hang of it, which I mean is awesome. I'm going to try to get go for these starfish right in here. One, two, and three. How beautiful those came out. I'm going to get rid of what I don't want. Little bits and pieces that I didn't want on the nail. We're going to keep what we want. So there we have, you know, kind of what we want there. And we are going to take our nail. Line up our images. Push down ever so slightly. And release. And there we have our starfish. Beautiful. All right, guys, I think this is going to be my last image. And then that'll be it. Because there's so many images on this plate, it'll take us forever. And it's already been quite a while. I don't want to hold you guys up too long, but there you go. I get rid of what I don't want. And there we go. Guys, don't be shy to stamp. It's so much fun. Don't mind my nails and my cuticles. I haven't been able to oil them up today because I've been doing videos for you guys, so don't even pay attention to them. All right, let's do one more stamp here. One more little swatch. Let's see what we can get in here. Sorry, we were out of focus. There we 
have a little starfish. And I didn't want the other little fish underneath it, so I got rid of it, and now I only have my starfish. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Kind of like a magnifying glass. I'm going to turn over our stamper. And there we have our starfish. Kind of cool, huh? Kind of cool. So that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this review. And I hope you pick up this plate. This plate, by the way, was or is Ijuba's EJBX04. Again, it's Ijuba's EJBX04. And this was the, um, or these were the swatches, a couple of the swatches. We did more swatches. Um, as you know, if you're watching, we did a couple of swatches on this swatch stick. And um, the purpose or of me practicing on this gel swatch stick is so that I can um, erase what I don't want and continue to use it. So that's why you don't see as many swatches. But we did more swatches um, throughout the video. So if you are just joining us now and if you'd like to see more of the swatches, you can definitely head back through um, the beginning of the video and watch the rest of the swatches if you haven't already go ahead and click that red subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you can be notified when i make a new video so that you don't miss it so if you click the notification bell every time i make another video you'll be notified so that's the whole point of the bell and also click that thumbs up so that I can see who likes this video, if you guys like it or not, so that I can make more videos like this. So thank you so much for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!